Hello, friends, and welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's so much content to catch up on at this point. And if you are returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. I absolutely appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more time with me here on our precious channel. Um, oh, I love that I just called it precious. I mean, it is precious to me. I love coming on here and um, sharing space with you guys and having this energy exchange. Um, so if you do like my videos, if they resonate, if you like, you know, I don't know, my style, whatever it may be, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. When you subscribe, it makes it so much easier for me to pick up on your energy for future pick a card readings. And when you like this video, it really does help to push it out there and it helps me grow the channel. So um, thank you so much if you already regularly do that. So friends, let's get to it. Um, today we're going to be looking into how your crush feels about you. This video was voted um, for, I think it was like second highest on the list um, of the options that I gave on our community page. I'm going to start doing that more regularly. It was it was fun to kind of see what you guys would be into. So um, if you have any ideas as well, you can always leave me a comment over on that thread or on this reading of a topic that you'd like to see me cover. So how your crush feels about you. You guys, I have to stress this. I know I have to say it, but please take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Um, use your discernment as well, friends. Like, come on now. If you're coming on here asking how your crush feels about you, and this is someone that literally you've only looked at through binoculars, meaning that's how far away they are. You've never had contact, like never anything. Um, and this is telling you that they're madly in love with you. I mean, I hope that they are, but um, use your discernment of what is for you. Um, I'm not saying that that's the energy we're going to pick up on, but I'm just saying, you know, just don't make something your story if it's not yours. Um, I know that these pick a card readings, they're meant to be fun, but I also notice a lot of you guys get triggered. I'm not going to say a lot of you guys, I guess it's like the few that are loud, right? Um, you guys are like in the comments, getting upset, um, talking about, you know, you're done with the past person and it's like, I get it. Then you know what that says to me that this isn't your reading. So, um, yeah, use your discernment friends. There's no, there's no hard feelings. If you, um, don't like my reads, all you have to do is click off the video. If you don't like the message, all you have to do is click off the video. That's how easy it is to not claim the energy. All right. So with those little disclaimers, let's get to it. You guys know what's up. As always, there is three groups to choose from. Um, again, we are looking into how your crush feels about you. So we have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked this patch, I was going to call it sticker, but it's actually a patch. <laughs> then welcome to your reading, friends. Let's go ahead and put Mr. Bart Ron right over there and let's get to it. Today, we're going to be looking into how your crush feels about you. Please keep in mind, this is a collective reading. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. Use your discernment. If something is not your story, please do not make it your story um, and please don't get triggered. All right. Let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones, my group number one spirit, the person that they came to this reading for, the person that my group number one, their crush. How do they feel about my group number ones? The person that they came to this reading for, their crush, how do they feel about my group number ones, please? Oh, okay. Well, they're sexually attracted to you. But this is also, it's like, it's not romantic. They don't see you as being available or there's something about you that, that they're not like making any kind of move towards you. If they've seen you, yeah, this is sexual, you guys. This is totally sexual. Someone here is not available. Either you're taken or they're taken, but you're someone that they fantasize about. They have definitely, um, you know, thought about you when they're alone. 
All right, why are the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why the Ace of Wands? For some of you, not for all of you, for some of you, they did have feelings for you at some point, but uh, something happened. Maybe it was time or time passed or someone got with someone else, but the urge, the sexual urge is still there. This person is still thinking one day, one day with my group number ones. How do they feel? How do they feel? Oh, they're hiding it. Okay, so yeah. No, this is something that they totally keep hidden. Wow, this person's a little... Um, if this is your crush, so you would know this is your group because you guys have already... You either have this person blocked or they have you blocked or there's a block. Something is like, er, stop sign. That's why it feels like it's either another commitment or something. Mm, they see you as being really sweet, but not available. So if you're someone who's just like really nice or like bubbly or just like you're empathetic or you're like, you've shared something with them, you've been there for them in some way, it feels like you guys already have some type of established contact or something already going on or has in the past, whether it was in passing or flirtation that didn't lead to anything, or just that sexual tension between you guys. Um, yeah, this doesn't feel like the energy I just mentioned in the intro of someone you've never even spoken to. It feels like there's something already here. Oh, this person thinks of the what ifs. So this person, um, it feels like this person at one point was going to invite you out on a date or wanted to. They wanted to extend some kind of offer and they had to let it go. Now, just because they don't think of rom the first thing they think about with you is not romance. It's not. The first thing they think about you is um, it's definitely it's definitely sex. And it's there's lots of fluids. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but that devil is like literally piercing me with his eyes and it normally doesn't do that. And then I'm looking at this cup overflowing and it's like pouring and I'm like, oh, this person. Um, yeah, they definitely think about you in that way a lot. This is something that they hide big time. Oh, they fake it around you. And if it wasn't for someone being in a relationship or someone being in some kind of something that doesn't make them attainable, that they'd be very impulsive. Now, I don't think this person is not um, considering you like as something that's never going to happen. This person is kind of viewing you as something that's going to eventually, something's going to eventually happen. Um It's like they don't want to fight it anymore. This, oh my gosh, yeah. This person, like, they, you, uh, oh my gosh. I get, I don't know if, I don't know if I have to do an 18 plus because this could literally be like an X rated reading if I was saying everything that was coming through. Um, maybe I should do a Patreon like this, huh? So this person, um, when they, you know, on their own, um, they think about you and yeah, that's kind of where they live. You, you live rent free in their desires. That's for sure. That's for sure. Look at how tightly they hold on to this. You're their like, uh, you're their thing that they keep protected or they keep like hidden. I almost feel like you're there, you're some kind of relief. Oh well, yeah, it is a relief, but like a, a mental like vacation. And this is what they desire. Someone here though, I feel like is married or is involved or is, yeah, they could be married, like have a kid. I don't know, something like that. We have Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, um, coming through strongest, but we also have a lot of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then of course, earth as well. It could be any sign, but in case anyone's wanting to know. Wow. Okay. Group number 
<laughs> one. You guys are usually my little tamed babies. You're little you're usually my little angels, my little innocents. <laughs> the groups usually are consistent with each other, so we'll see how your friends and the other groups do, but I'm I'm um surprised. <laughs> All right, thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us? The person that my group number one came to this reading for, their crush. What can you tell us? How do they feel about my group number ones, please? How do they feel? It's like same. <laughs> it's like thinking of you uh, makes them happy, but there's there can't be a consistency, or there's there like can't be. Um, this can't take off. I'm also like noticing the popping of the fireworks and then again, the sexual energy. So the pop and the, you know, I'm getting, yeah, lots of, um, lots of sexual energy, but lots of needing to hold back. Can you tell us? How does this person feel about my group number one? Yeah, there's something about this person's position. It like pains them. Oh my gosh, you guys, this person. So why does why do I have a feeling that they blew it at one point? <laughs> um, you guys are gonna have to confirm or deny <laughs> in the comments for me. Um okay, listen, they go they do go back and forth. There's periods of time where they think really heavily on you. Um, and I think that's when you feel them. That's when you also kind of get drawn in. Um, there, So this is when they stop watching you. So they go through periods of time where they'll stop keeping an eye on you online or an eye on you however they can see you. It's like that's when they're busy or when they're, they, they have something else takes priority um, in their life. Again, it doesn't feel like they're available. But um that's how you know maybe you feel them going distant too or i don't know i kind of feel like you guys have like a mutual like draw towards each other perhaps um but that's my when you might feel them kind of pull away a little bit um i kind of feel like you've been going through some kind of cycle with this person they're waiting for the tables to turn something to change the circumstances to change Thinking about this, it, they get, yeah, they're trying to get ideas over here. This person is not giving up. So your crush is definitely feeling the feels for you. It's mostly driven with passion. Um, right now, I don't know if you guys are in communication or what's going on. It feels like someone might be taking a break or someone might be yeah, someone, if you guys, may, oh, earlier, it felt like some of you were blocking. So maybe that's what it is. If you blocked this person, or if you friend zoned them, or if you shut them out, or it's been a while, I don't know, it feels like there's something here about that. They're missing you and they feel left out. You're not talking to them when you don't talk to them, or when they don't see you. Yeah, they miss you communicating or talking to them. All right, you guys, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> we have Aries with that emperor. We have more water. I mean, everything's showing up. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let me see, did I miss anything? No, it feels like everything. All right. Someone here might be trying to move on or there's something about moving forward or, I don't know, getting things to a better place. What is happening? My goodness. All right, let's get some Oracle cards for you guys. You know what? I feel like for you, I'm definitely going to pull from the Romance Oracles. Um, so let's get a Romance Oracle card for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number ones about the person that they came to this reading for. How does their crush 
feel about them? How does their crush feel about them, please? Oh, okay. Let's see. We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith and attraction. You attract romantic love. I do think there's a mutual attraction here that's going on. Let's get you a crystal card and see what message we have for you here. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get a card for my group number ones, please? The group number ones, how does their crush feel about them? What can you tell us? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones, please. Oh, it looks like it's selenite. All right. Um, it is selenite. So this is good for your crown chakra. So your mind. Um, so maybe your mind's been uneasy or you've been thinking about this a lot. So selenite is luminous cleansing and protection. With its moonlight glow, selenite illuminates your spiritual truth and greater purpose. It aligns your chakras and raises your awareness to a higher dimension opening communication to your spiritual team. It brings clarity to the mind and slices through any negativity or confusion, cleansing your energy fields and protecting your aura. Selenite brings awareness to your subconscious patterns, highlighting what is ready to be healed. It activates the crown chakra and provides a doorway to personal transformation. Cleanse your way to clarity. It pertains to Taurus and the moon. And the night that I am filming this, it's actually a full moon so maybe selenite is a nice crystal for you guys to work with um, to help kind of bring you peace and balance and energetically protect you if you feel maybe like this person's energy is drawing you in at times you just need peace someone's definitely holding back i feel like it's this person or it might be mutual look how both of your cards are warmer colors i'm sorry all three of your cards are warmer colors all right, we have illumination, success, and strength. So this situation, it is calling for endurance. I don't know why. I don't know what the obstacle is in the way, but it does feel like someone here is determined. They are holding back for the time being, but like I said, it definitely feels like it's not now, but it's definitely not never. You know, it's, I kept feeling like it's only a matter of time. Someone here is determined to have success. Um, also, if you do find yourself like focusing on this connection a lot or what's going to happen or when it's going to happen, um, I do think that things are coming to light. Um, I do think there will be signs and the more you kind of explore it, I do feel like you'll kind of be seeing through things. Um, all right, friends, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Let's go ahead and put Mario right over here and let's get to it. Today, we're going to be looking into um, how your crush feels about you. So the person that you came to this reading for, how do they feel about you? We're going to be pulling tarot and working with oracle cards. We'll get you guys a crystal card as well and see what the message is. Um, and then we'll be pulling a love oracle. And just to remind you guys, it is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. If this happens to pick up on an energy that doesn't sound familiar or that isn't, you know, anyone that you want to know about, totally cool. All you have to do is click off the video and don't claim it. All right, let's begin. Thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, and the person that they came to this reading for, how does their crush feel about them? How does their crush feel about my group number two, please. <clears throat> well, I almost feel like there's something about communication. Maybe they get stumped or I don't know. My throat's kind of closing up a little bit as I'm shuffling. Thank you, spirit. The person that my group number twos came to this reading for, how do they feel? How do they feel about my group number twos? How does their crush feel about them, please? The person that they came to this reading for, how do they feel about my group number twos? How do they feel about my group number twos, please? All right, we have the Sun in Reverse, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups. They, someone here might be blocked. We have the Ace of Cups. Um, uh, do you guys, I don't know if you, come on, do you guys talk to this person? Um, I don't know if there's communication here. 
but it seems like they there's something very happy-go-lucky you guys have had some kind of encounter maybe you guys haven't talked in a while they haven't seen you in a while i don't know it feels like something's hidden here or something hasn't uh i don't know i wanted to say something hasn't happened recently like uh the running into them or the saying hi or the i don't know the likes on the stories <laughs> however it is that you and this person interact if you do interact um, but there is something that's very sweet I feel like they know, this person knows that you guys have something, that you guys have, I, that, that you guys have a crush or that you guys have a mutual crush. I'm going to see in a second why this is. Five, eight, five, one, three, five. Oh, thank you. Oh, because they're not sure. They don't. Okay. So there's something about the timing. I don't know if you guys have, haven't ran into each other in a while or they haven't seen you. And they're definitely not like thinking of moving forward or moving towards you or like reaching out. Like it's not to that point, but it's almost like they don't know. I don't, I, maybe you guys have never even talked to this person. And if they've seen you from a distance, say this is your local um, person at the coffee shop that works there um, or whatever, right? the um whatever however they've seen you i feel like they enjoy the interaction and maybe they know that you guys are like you know kind of crushing on each other or i'm seeing smiles i'm seeing talking and smiles um mutual smiling you know like with teeth <laughs> um and it's like they know and they're waiting I'm not, well, not waiting, but it's like, they know they're going to see you again, or it's like, they know it's not done. Um, where are these cups? Yeah, they, they like it. I'm going to say they like you too. They really enjoy, um, whatever interaction you guys have had, but there is a lack of clarity or, um, something here they're unsure of, or they just, like I said, for some of you, they haven't seen you in a while. Maybe schedules haven't aligned or something like that. All right. We have the seven of cups. Which way did that one go? So this person, it's like, they know that the timing also isn't right. Uh, maybe they're focusing on their work or their money. They enjoy, like I said, the interaction that they have with you. It, it, uh, it definitely, you know, it definitely stirs them up. It feels sweet. But, um, I don't see them like, you know, going out of their way at this point to like take you out or contact you or declare anything or, you know, own up to anything. Maybe you're also not at the right place right now. Like you guys maybe are just kind of like in passing. Maybe you haven't had a chance to stop and talk for a while or you haven't really been, um, I don't know, talking to them. It feels like there, there hasn't been talking or like, hey, I haven't ran into you in a while or, you know, I don't know. Like if this is like someone you have a crush on at the gym and they haven't been there in a while <laughs> or, or they've been working a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to leave that there here. This person is like waiting for the next time or like waiting when you come back around now on the off chance, I don't know if this person did something that made you upset and you purposely blocked them or you're purposely staying away. Then, then you know what's going on here and how they feel. They still have emotion for you. I definitely feel like they they like you um but there's an issue with timing or um yeah I feel like it's scheduling or it's something hasn't lined up yet this person has a lot going on this could be someone that's like juggling several jobs or several projects or several things that need their attention thank you spirit what else can you tell us please the person that my group number twos came to this reading for Money might be an issue for them. Maybe that's why they're focused on that. All right. What else can you tell us, please? How does my group crush 
feel about them? How does my group number two crush feel about them? The person that they came to this reading for, how do they feel about my group number two? They feel like they just can't. It's almost like um, they're not, yeah, this person isn't really looking for commitment or anything. They're looking forward to coming together with you and seeing you again, flirting, talking, of course, right? Womp womp. <laughs> that's all you, <laughs> that's, that's all you want us for. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. We have the death card. We have... So I am going to say I'm getting different things coming through. So take whatever parts pertain to you guys, my friends. For some of you, um, this person wants a sign or they, they would like a clear indicator. Maybe you don't really open up to them or talk to them, or maybe you guys haven't had a conversation. It just feels like there's something here that is keeping this person from, I don't know. I mean, regardless, I don't think they're coming towards you with intentions to immediately ask you to be with them forever or to commit to just each other. If that's what you guys are looking for, just know that. But um, I do feel like this person is like fun. But there's something here that they feel like they're in the dark, in the dark over. That magician, I don't know. Have you guys been, how some of you been doing like ritual? To like try to get this person's attention or checking in on them or burning candles. Why the emperor in reverse? Why the hermit? They're definitely still watching you. Why the king of wands? Yeah, this person is, oh yeah. So they, I, I think they'd mutually like you. I really do. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person, if they're not blocked, if you guys hear from them soon, um, you're not going to see it coming um, when you do, if they're not blocked. That's your magic working for those of you that are doing the things. It is going to happen, but just know how they're going to come in. Um, they're not coming in for the long haul. Um, it doesn't make it diminish it, you know, unless that's what you want. But just know that. That's a message for only certain people. Um, it's almost like they would be relieved if if you guys just like had the chance to clear the air. Again, depending on how much interaction you've had with this person. I do think that they like you and there is emotion there. But there's something that maybe hasn't been brought to light. Maybe um, we haven't, you know, done anything outside of smiling at each other as you place your order and they give you your coffee or something, you know? It's going to vary for everyone. But I, I'm going to say it again. I feel like this person is having some kind of um, difficulty or challenges when it comes to work or their home or their finances. Um, and yeah, that's affecting them to some degree that's coming up in the reading for a reason all right well i do feel you guys are going to be communicating soon with this person let's talk actually before i put these away let's talk about this really quick this empress um in reverse with the hermit in reverse it's like they want to come they want to see you again they want to communicate with you but it's not like they're coming in to like give anything really in return it's almost like they want to have that interaction they want to talk to you they want to you know feel their little feels um but then it, it there's no real like there's nothing there's no indicator it's like yeah they 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 like you they definitely have a little crush on you too um and that doesn't feel like it's going away if that's what you were kind of thinking like oh my gosh i haven't seen them in a long time or i haven't talked to them or I wonder if they talk to everyone this way or are they smiling like that at everyone? And the answer is no. Yeah, they do like you. <laughs> um, but that in person reverse makes me feel like it's just not enough yet. At least who knows if you explore this, what it, 
can grow to, but that's where they're currently at. Like I said, I kind of do feel like um, you will be communicating with this person. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Aries um, with that Emperor. We have Pisces, Aries again with the Magician coming through. And then, um, yeah, Air Signs as well. Could be anyone. All right. Let's see if anything else wants to come through. Thank you, Spirit. Any last messages for my group number twos? This person, how do they feel about them? How does this person feel about my group number twos? They really like, They, I think they really like interacting with you or talking to you. There's something here about wanting to be real impulsive and like come towards you. Um, but maybe it's because of the surroundings. I think this person would be happy to see you again or to talk to you again, to be honest. I just saw the nine of cups as well when I said that. So yeah, you only, you guys know what this connection is or to what degree you've had, um, interactions with this person. <laughs> um, it definitely feels like there's something already there. Let's pull in romance card for you i mean enough for them to like you back let's get a romance oracle thank you spirit can we get a card please for my group oh okay what's that there for my group number twos please message for my group number twos get fresh express your love someone here needs needs the green light we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, I think that's what they're waiting for, you guys. They're waiting for some kind of green light. I don't think you've given that, if that's even what you want. Let's get you guys a crystal message. Oh, these are so hard to shuffle, but I love their messages. Message for my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, you got two. Uh, one's in the shape of a heart. I believe it's rose, quote, rose quartz. Um it is rose quartz. And then the other one is red japs, jasper. All right, let's see what these are or what they say. And we know what they are, but let's see what they say. All right, rose quartz, it's for love, nurture, and romance. Calling in unconditional love, rose quartz invokes a gentle yet powerful feminine energy that nurtures and protects your heart. It can be used to attract new romance and to build closer bonds in your relationships. Rose quartz opens the heart chakra and heals heartache, grief, and any unexpressed emotions. It asks that you show yourself compassion, forgiveness, and acceptance. Rose quartz also inspires beauty in all forms. Open your heart to the beauty within you. It corresponds to Taurus, Libra, and Venus. And I want to point out unexpressed emotions. Interesting. Repeating message. All right. Your red jasper. Justice, strength, and stability. Red jasper works closely with the base chakra and heals any wounds surrounding injustice grounding you back to earth. Red Jasper alleviates chronic worry, clearing mental blockages to make space for balanced emotions and thoughts. Working with the base chakra, Red Jasper can also help heal issues related to sex, inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways. Providing stability and protection, Red Jasper balances yin and yang, expressing masculine and feminine energies that feel safe yet nourished. It um, correlates to Aries and Scorpio in Mars, so that's interesting, you guys. Um, both of these bring healing, healing to love and healing to, um, as you heard, to sex. So um, there's almost like a need to express in this group if you feel so inclined, of course. All right, let's get a few more messages for you guys. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. How does their crush feel? My right ear just started ringing. All right. We have faith, growth energy. I feel like this person misses your energy if you haven't been around in a while or the energy between you guys is undeniable and surrender. Someone's going to have to surrender here. Oh my gosh. Keep me posted. <laughs> All right. My group number two, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Before we get to it, I just have to remind you, this is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else. If I happen to pick up on energy that um, sounds like someone you don't want anything to do with, I completely understand. 
feel free to click off this video and don't claim the story as your own because it obviously isn't. Also use your discernment, friends. Um, only you know to what degree you've had contact with this crush. So let's see what comes through. Groups one and two have been very interesting. So let's see my group number three is let's put Miss Hello Kitty right over there. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes. Did I call you guys number twos? I hope I didn't. You know I meant number threes. My group number threes, Spirit. I'm losing my mind over here. <laughs> What can you tell us about the person that my group number threes came to this reading for? Their crush spirit. How does their crush feel about them? The person that my group number threes came to this reading for. How does their crush feel about them? How does their crush feel about my group number threes, please, spirit? How do they feel about my group number threes? Thank you, spirit. The person my group number threes came to this reading for. We have the Three of Pentacles, okay. We have the Queen of Wands. They think you're so good at what you do. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands. They might feel, I can't tell if you're a little bit like, you protect yourself or you're a little defensive. Uh, there's a question here. Do they like me back? We have the seven of swords. Person's either hiding something or doesn't. That could be part of their, they don't believe that you like them back or we'll see what that's about in a second. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number three. It's the person they came to this reading for. How do they feel about my group number threes, please? The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. The Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Why the Six of Pentacles? We have the King of Swords. They don't think that uh, you think about them as much as maybe they think about you or... I don't know. We'll see what that's about. Feels like communication's an issue. This person's sad, and I can't tell why when it comes to you. There's some kind of repeating cycle where it's like, I feel like they want to build with you, but there's something that has been, I don't think, I, I don't know if something hasn't been able to take off or their communication their understanding, they're living in their own world. I mean, we, all, I'm sorry, guys, we all are. But what I mean is their perspective, I'm trying to understand it. <laughs> Backtrack. All right. They feel like you let them go, or they feel like you're doing your own thing. You've released things. I feel like they feel like you let them go. Okay, man, that was difficult to sort through for a second. I'm almost feel, you know what? I'm in the mind of an air sign is what it feels like. I'm in the mind of an air sign. Um, that's why. <laughs> okay, take the parts that belong to you, friends, but here we go. So what I'm feeling here is this person doesn't think that you view them or maybe you don't see them in this way but it's almost like they feel like something here isn't reciprocated like maybe you don't think about them as much as they think about you or you don't think about um i'm gonna say like it's like they imagine things with you they they visualize like future like wanting to work with you or like reach these goals together, reach milestones together, maybe uh, what it would be like to have a home together or to be married or um, to 
you're the one that they can call when they have something to celebrate, you know? And there's a belief here within them that um, feels like they don't feel like it's the same. And here they are showing up with their little cup. And I don't know if they feel like, I can't tell if it's like a worthy thing or that they're good enough or they're just emotionally, they don't know how to emotionally express themselves. That's for sure. This person's a thinker. Why the two of pentacles on the list? It's like they they're they feel stuck. They're not really um, making a move. And the reason I say stuck is because this temperance in reverse and this two of pentacles and this two of wands in reverse, it's like everything is just like not flowing. This person kind of, they, I don't know if they're kind of a black and white like thinker, like it's either one way or the other. And it's like, actually, it could be many different ways, but maybe that's how this person's brain works because it's very logical. But they also get themselves frustrated. I, I am sensing frustration from this person. There's something about family here. And they're just like, they, they hide this. They, they, maybe they're even like deny. you know what? This person I think is denying to themselves even. Because this person has is so defensive against romance or love or um, yeah, they're they're it's almost like they're fighting it off or they're they sh they I feel like they try to shut that part off or maybe they're just not used to, and then now that it's here, it's like they don't even realize. So I definitely feel this person has feels for you. I'm trying to figure out what they are because it really going in in random ass directions i mean i guess it's not random and whenever i feel that way and i come back and listen i'm like oh it did make sense <laughs> um all right let's keep digging uh, you guys i feel maybe could have already had something with this person or uh i don't know maybe you guys were in each other's like energy for a while or there's a work connection or friend connection or running into each other with when certain people were around or at certain events or i don't know what else yeah this person's really serious they're so serious about their commitments This person thinks very seriously of you. I don't know why this doesn't feel like a crush. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> L Cool J literally just started playing in my head. This is more than a crush. Hey, lover. Um, what is that? I see you at the bus stop waiting every day. Oh my gosh, you guys go watch that video. Um, do your eyeballs a favor if you're an LL fan, especially that era listen this person let's keep going i'm gonna pull again the reason i said listen this person is because i keep seeing these inklings of of uh emotion that try to come through and then they kind of they bury them with surrounding energy that's like kind of trying to snuff it trying to keep it keep it hidden you know they're very defensive this person uh, has a hard time with uh, feelings or romance or love. And they keep all these thoughts to themselves. They definitely have a crush on you. They, yeah, they're super into you. They see you as being really in your power. I'm telling you, whatever it is you do, like, they feel like you're really good at it. So, like, if work-wise you do something that's, like, known or you know, like this person knows about it or they see you in action or you're an artist, you're a singer, you're whatever. It feels, it feels like they, they see that. So they want a relationship with you. They imagine this, but they are hiding it. And they're, 
how they feel about you is maybe your energy has been very healing for them. You've taught them a lot of things or you've shared wisdom or they're starting to realize something. This person, I'm going to say, you guys, I feel like this person takes you seriously. And the only thing stopping them from a new beginning with you, if you know that this person is not involved in, with someone else and you're not involved with someone else, this is for those of you that are, that are crushing on someone who, who is, um, there's a chance with, right? At this moment in time is what I mean. Um, but what's stopping, one of the things that's stopping, I should say, is um, their emotional maturity or availability. Um, this person, I'm going to say they're, I'm getting the feeling that they're going through an awakening or they will be, or there's something here that's shifting for them because this frustration that they're currently in, it's like a pressure cooker and it feels like it's going to pop if something doesn't change. Some of you only communicate with this person through like message or a DM, something like that. If you haven't talked to them in a while, maybe they keep an eye on you that way. I am kind of seeing um, there may be communication coming in for you guys, or there is light communication. It doesn't feel like it's a big conversation. We have um, air signs, fire signs, water signs, all signs showing up. Then we have Sagittarius. Um, Aries, Pisces, Taurus coming through as well. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us, please? The person that my group number threes came to this reading for. The person that my group number threes came to this reading for. How do they feel about my group number threes? How does my group number threes crush feel about them, please? How does my group number three is trust, crush, I almost said trust, maybe you guys need to have trust, how do they feel about them, maybe someone here needs to have trust, this person doesn't trust love, they don't trust their emotions, oh, that's what it is, they don't trust their emotions, you guys, they don't, they don't trust, they don't make heartfelt decisions, it has to logically make sense, but it, they're fighting against themselves, all right, thank you spirit for that. How does their crush feel about that? My group number three is the person that came to this reading. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. We have the devil. How do they feel about my group number threes, please? How does this person feel about my group number threes? There it is. You guys are going to be hearing from them soon. Like I said, or you're already in somewhat of communication with them with that um, ace of swords. They're, they're feeling like they want to come towards you. This person may have recently had some kind of tough and okay. Oh my gosh. We're all just so damaged. It literally does not matter. Even we're all just on different parts of our journey. Even the biggest F boy on the planet or F girl on the planet, you guys, you have to realize they are on their own journey as messed up as it is. It's true. Even that narcissist that everyone keeps bringing up all the time, like they're on their own journey, whether it, we like it or not, you know, like one day, like they will eventually wake up and realize or keep ignoring and completely live an unfulfilled and weird existence. It's like, it's whatever it is, it's their own journey. And the reason I say that is because I feel like this person, whatever happened to them on their love journey in the past is still affecting them now. There's something that they're releasing that has been very difficult for them. It could have been a karmic relationship or it could have been something that happened to them um, in the past. Um, whether that was um, relationships that they witnessed in their childhood and that formed their idea of love or the way that they got hurt when they were young and in love or whatever it was that effed them up. Um, this person, I do feel like um, they have certain things that they definitely haven't worked through, but I don't think that they've maybe fully become aware of what some of those things are. And when it comes to you, I feel like you're 
the feelings you're stirring up within this person are almost like a trigger or like some kind of catalyst and it makes them uncomfortable but it's like they can't they feel like they can't fight it for I'm, I'm feeling like I can't fight it. I can't fight it forever. I can't fight it for too long because I'm feeling their frustration. I'm feeling that energy from the earlier part of the reading. Um, that's what I'm picking up here. Or the four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person walked away from something and had to let something go. Now, it doesn't feel like it's the connection with you. That's the thing. This person also, one of their... Um, downsides it's that maybe they're a little negative maybe they're a little um they're just not very positive when it comes to love and emotions the other thing though is they keep their passion for you they keep that shit hidden they keep it they don't want no one to see um it's like uh the things we do in the shadows <laughs> that's the name of that vampire show all right eight of swords in reverse with the six of wands in reverse um, and there, that's, oh, let me come back to that. Let me feel that out for a little bit longer. Where they so long? Thank you. Why the page of swords? So this person, um, they definitely can't express their emotions. That's for sure. I feel like that's gonna, that might be a personality trait. Let's leave that guy upright. Um, I'm not saying that they never will. I'm just saying that they struggle. And at the moment that you're listening to this, I feel like it's a big struggle for them. I do feel like they, you, you put them at ease. You, um, disarm them. That's what I was looking for. I feel like they find you disarming. I feel like, um, I'm telling you, I feel like you're, you're the catalyst for some kind of change with them. This person feels like they were stuck in some kind of karmic loop and you might be like what helps them realize that or like breaks them out of a cycle or what makes them want to break out of a cycle. Now, that's not your thing. Again, that's their journey. So you're not responsible for any of this. You're only responsible for you and what you want, how you feel and who you want to pursue things with, right? Um, they want to put time into this and more than anything, they want to put time into you and your body. They want to connect with you in that way. They want to take their time. They think about this a lot. That kind of, oh, that's sexual for us. Okay. It's sexual frustration. Okay. So that's what it is. I was like, why am I so frustrated? Why am I so frustrated? Oh, it's sexual frustration. Oh, spirit. <laughs> um, I do feel they're going to be communicating with you. They love watching you too. If they, if you know, they follow your social media. Um, here's Scorpio showing up with that tower. Let's see what's going to be unexpected. I, you've been unexpected. That's what it is. You've been unexpected here. You're the one that's going to change. You're going to change their, um, you're the one that's changing things for them. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's something about um, your connection that's kind of bringing this person back to life after, after whatever they went through. It does feel like it's awakening vibes for them. Maybe it's mutual for you as well. This feels like it's a little more intense than a crush. This person thinks about you sexually a lot. Um, but that's because that's where they feel comfortable and that's where they know. What's scary to them is opening up the chest, the heart. So they rather lead with passion, but that's what's unexpected. What's unexpected is what they feel for you. So if you guys have already hooked up with this person in the past, I feel like they thought maybe it was going to be like a one-time thing and they were done or they were over it or they thought that's all it was going to lead to not diminishing your connection and you would know if this is for you if you're like yeah i could see that with my person but instead it wasn't like that instead something started to shift within them we have capricorn leo scorpio 
I'm going to say the seismic activity for you guys is going to be increasing from now through the end of the year, depending on when you listen to this reading. It is a timeless reading, but it is filmed um, in the beginning of August. So now through the end of the year, I feel like there's going to be um, something that's going on between you guys. There's either going to be communication or there's going to be an unexpected connection an unexpected hookup for some of you guys i don't know i don't know i'm innocent here all right let's get some romance oracles for you we're going to pull a few cards before we close out your reading thank you spirit thank you for these messages for my group number three can get a romance oracle for my group number threes please messages for my group number threes Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like that's really important here. Um, and I feel like that spiel about their journey, I must have gone down that path for a reason, bitches. I can't even. Very soon, very soon, something's going to be shifting. Um, okay, well, that's cool. Let's get you guys a crystal for more advice thank you spirit what do my group number three is need to know can we get a crystal card for them please thank you oh we have two egg shaped things we have tiger's eye and carnelian um i was only going to take one but we'll do both of them i'll let you guys look at the carnelian for now all right tiger's eye here we go um courage optimism and power a courageous and brave stone, Tiger's Eye motivates you to show up as your best self, dispelling any fear and doubt in your path. Known as the shapeshifter, Tiger's Eye embodies healing energies from both the earth and the sun, drawing optimism towards you while grounding you in reality. Call on the warrior side of you and pursue your ambitions with laser focus. With confidence, strength, and power, Tiger's Eye helps break through any blockages that stand in your way, activate the warrior inside of you. Now it correlates to Leo in Capricorn and the sun. So someone to take that like for what it is for face value, someone's sun could be Leo or Capricorn. Um, those are this, those two came up together. They came up together in your reading, which is pretty cool with that devil and the sun card. All right. So Carnelian courage, motivation, endurance, powerful and bold Carnelian increases confidence in yourself especially when you need to take center stage and use your voice effectively. A stabilizing stone, Carnelian helps balance volatile emotions for long-term vitality. Believed to protect the soul in the afterlife, Carnelian is a stone of the living, meant to motivate you to take chances with the life that you have. Life is meant to be lived with passion and desire, and Carnelian gives you the courage to do so. All right, seize the day correlates to Taurus, Cancer, Leo, and Scorpio, and the sun. You have two sun cards. Okay. Now, let's get some last messages for you. Closing messages, please, for my group number three. Let's get crush you about them. So it does feel like things have come to a stop right now. Um, I feel like, I feel like things have come to a stop and that's part of the allow things to unfold naturally. Someone here needs to, like I said, their own journey. We have strength, more sun energy and Leo energy. So maybe there's something about the summertime right now because we are, well, in, in the northern hemisphere, we're in summer. But um, we have confidence as well, which I feel um, is also asking you to trust. Maybe someone's building their confidence. Um, I'm getting someone's working out. I don't know if someone's going back to working out. We have faith, having faith in the situation. Again, more trust, passion. You guys, that was definitely not lacking in your group. Lots of attraction and passion. And then we have hunger. They want more of you or you want more of them. You guys want more of each other. There's just not enough. There hasn't been enough yet. All right, my group number threes, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.